Welcome to Flip University, also known as Flip U. I'm Brad. And I'm Jen. And we're here to guide three Nashville homeowners through the biggest projects of their lives. Welcome back. Along the way, they'll be given assignments, tips, and insight into how to create a show-stopping home. Flipping a home is hard work, and these students have their work cut out for them. This is Flip U. And class is officially in session. Well, we're back at Eric's and looks like he got the place. Looks like he's been working hard because this dumpster is loaded up. Concrete and pizza, perfect combo. Every working man needs a pizza. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You want to go say hi to him, see what's up? Yeah, let's check it out and see if he's done the work. Surprise, I got the place. The hard working man right oh, there. Yeah. Oh yeah, come on in. We'll show you all the work I've done. Life lately has been pretty busy between the nine to five and you know working on the home. Wake up, I got about a 30 minute commute to work and I'll work the nine to five. From there, once I get to the home, turn on the music and then start working. So, wow. here it is. This is amazing. Wow. Oh yeah, yep. A lot of work has been done. I removed all the flooring. I've also reworked some plumbing, taken down the ceiling drywall, ripped out the cabinets, knocked down the walls that we're talking about. So the most surprising thing for me was figuring out what wall was load bearing. The surprise was that I could actually put a big beam across the entire room and carry the weight of the upstairs and take down every wall. He went above and beyond. Yeah, you went above and beyond. Got rid of it all. Something I'm really struggling with is figuring out what to do with this space here. Kind of got a living room, dining room situation going on and don't really know which place to put them. I guess my question to you would be, what's more valuable, the dining space or the living space? I am gonna have an island right here with two seats. So probably the living space over the dining since you already kind of have a little bit of a dining area here. Yeah, that's a really good point. You could put a TV here and then have an L-shaped couch. And that leaves you with a pretty big space. That's a really good idea. I like that. That's more homework for him to kind of figure out how to creatively transition this whole area. I like that. I like that. That's a good task. So speaking of homework, did you do the comps and find out if you're turning that basement into a livable space or not? I did, actually. Um, I went on some real estate websites and pulled some comps. You know, they just weren't quite there where we wanted to see. So we decided to leave it as is. Good call, well done. Yeah, good job on doing your homework. Those assignments were especially helpful when it came to you know thinking about whether we wanted to flip it or rent it out. If I don't have my end goal in mind, then I'm never gonna be able to you know begin in the first place. So surprise, I live here. Are you serious? Oh yeah, absolutely. I didn't absolutely. know that he did this, did you? <laughs> no. Wow. I started doing it on my very first flip, and what I've learned from it is you get to see how the house works when it's raining or in all different types of weather, see if there's any leaks. Also, you learn more about the space and what works, what doesn't. Maybe it's just I love doing this so much that I can't get out of it, and it's you know not a chore for me. It's what I truly enjoy to do. So. You know, I don't mind being here all the time. Okay, I feel like he gets extra credit yeah, for this, don't absolutely. you? I mean, that's impressive. I'll take it, I'll take it. The problem with this room specifically was all that concrete that you saw out there. They used it to level the entire floor, which added more weight, which made it sag even more. So I came in here, ripped out all of that concrete, got it back to the sub floor, where now I'm gonna re-level it out the right way. Once the floors are leveled, it'll be time to really rebuild this and bring it to life. And I already started in the room just across the way. There's somebody living in that one too? Uh, could be, who knows? Right. <laughs> we'll find, find out. out. Yeah. <laughs> Another surprise. So, this is the primary suite. 
I'm currently leveling the floors. As you can see, I'm gonna get rid of this popcorn ceiling. I'm gonna renovate the bathroom, make that you know very nice, run a tile through there, nice shower and tub combo. Well, this looks awesome. It's so big, and I mean, I feel like Absolutely. it's gonna be a great primary. Yeah. It feels pretty level. Yeah, 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 you throw a level on that, perfectly yeah. straight. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I took my time on it. I want to put some nice blue floors in here, so I want them to be nice and level and perfect and, you know, really want to make this place pop. Should we, should we make sure? Oh, yeah. It's perfect. Pretty good, she's pretty good. My overall vision for this place is to make it the best home that I've done to date. And use some of the best materials in every aspect of the home and make sure every detail is perfect. Well, I can't believe all the work that you've done. I mean, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, really impressed. Thank you. Do you know how to pack a lunch, a little snack? Yeah, yeah, okay, I think so. We, we got a field trip next time we see you, and it's a, a company that we've worked with a lot, and I think they're gonna come in really handy. Wow. Yeah, sounds really exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'll make sure to pack that snack. All right. Get a good sleep on that air mattress and we'll see you real soon. <laughs> Will do. I'll do my best. Great Thank job you. on everything. Thank you. Good seeing you. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Take care. Yeah, I know, me too. I mean. Hello! Wow. Hey. Oh <laughs> Welcome back. Gosh, this is awesome stunning. already. Yay, come in. Come look at everything I've done. I moved in quicker than I thought I was going to move in. You don't really know what you want to do with your space until you've lived in it. So I moved in a month quicker than I thought I was going to. <laughs> Wow. I know. Welcome back. Karen. <laughs> incredible. You have made so much progress. It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> I while, see him checking out yeah, these Yeah, I was going to say, while we're here, I can't <laughs> smell any cat. So did you do your yeah, homework? I, I, I just got I ask. knew you were going to bring that up. Not only have I done my homework, but I feel like I get an A++++++. Plus, 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 and there is not a smell of cat urine in this entire home. I 100% did. I took your advice and all the wood's new, everything's new. Obviously Amazing. the carpet's new. I haven't painted this yet, but I will. So this will all be black. This right? will all be, all this will be black. That's gonna I look so that. beautiful. Yeah. Yes, it's frustrating to strip everything down to the bones, but that's why you don't smell anything because I listened. How different does this living room look? Wow. I know, it's it's like, impressive. Yeah, last time you guys were here, it was just covered in tarp, and I don't even think it was painted, and it didn't have lights. No, the fireplace looks amazing black. I, I, I love lo it. Yeah, I love it too. The floors are amazing. Oh, thank you. Not that the tarps weren't great, but the floors. <laughs> the floors really make it. <laughs> an well, improvement. we love a tarp, <laughs> yeah. but we love a floor better. And Absolutely. the dogs are very happy. The dogs are very happy. Uh, I would be happy too if I was in this living room. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to the completion of my office. You know, doing makeup and hair for a living. I have so much stock in skincare, hair, and makeup products that I need my office to function. Remember these stairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to my office. The cool spot, for sure. And it's, I have the space. Yes. It's just, this isn't even all my product. It's, yeah. I still have it in storage. Well, we talked about last time about doing cabinets up here. Are you still, cause I feel it's still kind of missing. I know. That. Are you still it's thinking about that or where do I mean, you... I would love to do that. I just have been, it's so much tackling yeah. everything at once. I'm very wrapped up in it and it is my life, but it's not my full life. It's a balance that I love and it's a challenge that I love. So I'm into it. <laughs> Well, we actually have a really cool surprise for you. We have a field trip planned. Yay. And you're gonna get to meet the other students. Fun. And I think it's gonna really help you with this room. <sighs> Lord, I need it. <laughs> It'll be awesome. One of my bathrooms I feel like really needs a punch of something. I need help. <laughs> 
So come on in, guys. Welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, I know I- This is awesome. Beautiful. This is definitely one of my favorite spots. My primary shower is so sexy. Obviously that's like the blank space right now. Some kind of texture there could be really cool or yeah, a piece that, of art or some. Yeah, I that feel would like that would help break up the space. My walls are bare. There's not enough color. <laughs> like a wallpaper or something? I feel like you don't have much homework left, so maybe that should be like part of the new homework for when we come back. Other than Pinterest the more yeah. stuff. Got it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No, but figure out Pinterest a way more. to, because everything is so incredible in here. Just Thank that, you. no offense, but just that part <laughs> is a little. Um, no offense taken, it bothers me too. I just can't figure out. I've thought about a million different things, like should I hang a TV there? Should I hang the towel racks there? I like the texture with an art on top of it because it kind of feels like what I'm kind of doing anyway. Yeah. We'll see. But I'm, I'm excited for that room to get done. This is what I like to call my little nook. Cool. And since it's, you know, in my, in my bedroom, I, I want this to be where I get ready. But I can't figure out, like, how to... It's an odd shape. Before I say too much, I actually think our field trip might do this room a lot of good. Yeah, absolutely. Where are we going? I can't wait. Oh, okay, okay. I think maybe we should hold on. You're gonna love it. Advice okay. until you get to the field trip. Copy that. I present to you the atrium. Wow. <laughs> well, Taryn, you've done just an amazing job, and I cannot Thank wait you. to see when we come back. First, we'll see you on the field trip, though. That's what's next. Yes. Cool. Classic Where field are we trip. Going? Classic field trip. I hate surprises. Yeah. My entire attitude throughout this entire process has been to just go with the flow, because when you when you start meeting the resistance, is when hell breaks loose. It feels like. Go team! All hands in! Come on, Brad! Come on, man! Go, Go team! So here we are at Evan's place. Back here, and I've already glanced through and seen that it looks like he's got some work done. I mean, he was very detailed, and he knew exactly what he wanted. Very so. symmetrical, if I remember correctly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's check it out. All right. Hey, guys. Hi. 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 Good to see you. Me too. Good to see you, see you, Brad. You look like you've been working hard. Just a little. Just yeah. a little. We've moved the needles on. Please come inside. Right. Come check out the progress. So, a lot has happened since we last toured the home and tracking this renovation. We've got, you know, the foundation issues addressed. We have the framing the way that we want it. And because of that, we now have drywall up. You have been working. Just a little bit. It's so nice to wow. have some drywall up and some floors in. As you walk through this house, it's super exciting to finally be at a place where I can kind of better visualize what's to come. Guys, I'm in a pickle because I love symmetry. And I am really concerned because if we put the island where I wanted it, like say here, for example, it's not gonna be centered on this oven. Sometimes you can visualize what something is going to look like and you can be so excited about that until another phase of the construction happens and you're left to kind of rethink that plan. And so for me, that was the case for this kitchen. Do you have any tips? What if you just turned it? Okay, what are you so thinking? That, so that the island's here. Okay. And your seats are here. So you still get the symmetry. And then actually then you could be watching your oh, yeah. TV. I like, that. I like that. My home is my refuge. I spend so much time making myself available to my clients. And when I finally get home, I wanna be able to melt into that couch, make some delicious food, turn on my favorite TV program, and just chill. I have an idea about the cabinets. And okay. I know you're going with all lowers, which is cool. But right up here, you could actually have room for one double door cabinet above the fridge. 
shelf built in to cut it in half or just have one piece of art sitting okay. up in there. Yeah, I, I like that idea to carry that cabinetry all the way up to the ceiling and then have that cabinet kind of built out so that it's functional. Ultimately, I think the biggest showstopper will be the kitchen. So our homework for you is to talk with your contractor about the island. Okay, moving flipping the island. that thing, yeah. Also talk to your contractor about seeing if you can figure out a way to get one cabinet up there and have them carve out a little built-in shelf up above it. Perfect. The primary suite is where you're gonna see more of my personal touch. Nice. I see that you changed the closet door. Thank you, I did. We moved it from this side to this side and moved the entry a little bit further down the hallway. So now when you walk in, you've got like a true primary closet on your left. And I think that we're gonna be able to use that space more functionally now. So really excited about that. Which This also, is very functional here Thank too. you. Yeah. I think it's gonna stay, you know? Absolutely. Some people have benches at the end of their bed. I'm gonna have a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should look just as different the next time you yeah, guys come it, back. Well, speaking of that, I mean, it's coming along really, really nice. Thank you. All right, guys, come on down to the basement and watch your head there. One of the things that I'm really looking forward to is having my own home gym. But I really would love their take on like wall color, on ways that I can kind of create a mood that is going to motivate me to want to go down those stairs and get on that bike and sweat. Yeah, this is uh, where I'm gonna put my bike and my dumbbells. I think I'm gonna do some custom cabinetry to hide this water line this, that I can't do anything with. <laughs> but also have an identical one flanked on this side as well. They will actually be functional storage. I'm really struggling with you know, what color is gonna be best suited for my needs. So I welcome your feedback. Well, I feel like if you're going to use it as kind of a spin studio, it would be really cool to have it be a darker color. Okay. What do you think? I like that. So yeah, we've got that. Uh, that's going to be uniquely available only to me. Um, and then there's a doorway that leads into the guest apartment. I love this door. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty cost effective, budget friendly. Yeah. <laughs> so we're in the guest apartment. So now you see that this drywall goes all the way to the back and that is what created the home gym for me. Nice. Um, imagine there being a wall here. That's where the kitchen's going to begin. Sink, cabinets, dishwasher. So that's the kitchen. Great. Upstairs is gonna be a little more high end. Like I said, much more custom. While downstairs is gonna be contemporary, but a little more kind of like standard issue cabinetry. It's gonna be a great kitchen. It's gonna look good, but it's gonna be more durable and more guest friendly. While I'm looking to maybe make some more affordable decisions down here, it's still got to look and feel awesome. Jen, do you want to share the good news with him? Oh, well, I was going to say, we have something that's going to really help you out with oh, your kitchen. Gosh, what is that? We are going on a field trip. A field trip? It's going to be super fun. Pack a lunch. I love field trips. Pack some extra for the professors. Should so. I get a permission slip sign? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Absolutely. As a realtor, I've come to view flips probably a bit differently than a lot of other quote flippers call this a flip call me a flipper but this is not going to be your average flip you guys go wild today and cabinets to go. Awesome. <laughs> this place is literally like a cheat sheet for us. As you can clearly see there's tons of options, right? You can get them in seven to 10 days, which is wow. just crazy. It's so fast. And also, if you want to customize, which I know you probably would love doing that. I mean, the music to my ears, darling. <laughs> you can go crazy and you can get it done in 10 to 12 weeks. So it's pretty impressive. And y'all, Jana is amazing. She will help you with everything. You're in great hands. Thank you, I'll take good care of you. And before you leave today, we'll have some 3D renderings so you'll be able to see exactly what your project's gonna look like. Wow, that's so Love cool. it. Okay. We've got some We're great students here for you, so I hope you good. take good care of them. <laughs> well, let's you get will. started. Let's yeah. go. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, Evan, tell me a little bit about your project. 
Yeah, I've purchased this amazing mid-century modern home and the unique thing about it is it has this entire basement apartment below. So with that being said, I'm looking for something that kind of aligns with the mid-century modern style, but also something that's easy to clean, durable, and affordable. So um, I've kind of landed on maybe this countertop and there's a really great cabinet back there. So I'd love to see more of what those look like together so that I can kind of narrow my options. We can do that for you. So Evan, you can kind of see how I've laid everything out for you for your cabinets and spacing. I love that you can see to the different colors, the countertop on the cabinets. Yeah. And it really does, a lot of people have a hard time visualizing. So the yeah. 3D images are key for people in helping them make their decisions. I'm really excited about being able to provide a really comfortable and unique space for guests. So seeing this rendering gets me really excited about being able to accomplish that vision. I'm looking forward to working on your upstairs kitchen too. If I we can't can. wait for that quote. Let's see that well, rendering did, soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. What are you thinking for countertop? You know, I'm really liking this granite one here. It's got a little bit of black and some colors, some red in there as well. well why don't we take those over with your cabinets and take a look how they look together? Sure. Yeah. What do you think? Let's okay. do it. All right, let's check it let's out. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that looks great. I think that looks great. Oh yeah. Um, I've also pulled a, a hardwood floor here. This is perfect. You know, I'm thinking of running an engineered hardwood floor through my okay. entire home. And this really is like a one-stop shop. I can get the countertops, the cabinets, and the floor all from one place. Makes it very simple for me. I love it. I love right. it. Let's go design. Okay, let's do it. What do you think? Wow, like that is a showstopper kitchen. Absolutely, you get your wow. cabinets, your countertops, you're gonna get your bathroom vanities. I love it. Quite frankly, I think you're probably gonna end up moving in here instead of flipping it. <laughs> you may be right, so, you may be right. Thank you so much, this looks welcome. beautiful. Thank you for all your time and putting this together. You're welcome, I really, I really appreciate enjoyed it. working with you. So thank <laughs> you're the you for same, coming you're in. the same. Taryn, tell me a little bit about your project. My office is a little tricky. It's a great space. I do makeup and hair for a living, so I have lots of products. And I would like to hide, but also keep all these hidden products organized. Okay. But also look chic. Okay. Can you do that? Are you up for the challenge? Absolutely. <laughs> glam is what I'm hearing here is glam. Yes. What that tells me is we probably really should look at the custom for you because okay. we're probably gonna have to work and customize the sizes customize the color, and this wow. is your personal space. So I want to make it about you. Uh, when I was walking around, these are some of the things that I like. Um, I mean, I, could I do a blush cabinet? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I die. Yeah, you're definitely um, a custom candidate. We want to really personalize this for you. So Taryn, there's your design that for your office storage. in. Insane. That's just so crazy because the ceilings are so awkward. <laughs> I know. Well, that's the magic of the custom cabinets, honestly, because we're able to modify them to where they exactly fit your space. I love the blush cabinet. I think it reflects you and your personality, <laughs> that's for sure. So. <laughs> well, thank you for getting me. <laughs> this is awesome. so perfect. Glad to like wow. it. Wow. Well, this was fun. <laughs> it, it has been an incredible well, experience. <laughs> I came here with an expectation and my mind was a little blown. You know, you mm -hmm. come into stores and sometimes you feel like there might be some limitations, but there yeah. were just so yeah. many options here. They make it so easy too. The process, yeah. they come in here and there's so much that they have that it just yeah. makes life a million times easier. I can't wait to see your place, but I'm going to be the valedictorian. Aww. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see your place. Thank you. And I I can't wait to see your class. I'm going to be your teacher's pet. Okay. Well, that was a fun field trip. It really was. There's so many options, though. I know. Wow. For our students, I think it's so important to kind of decide, do they need custom cabinets or do they need stock cabinets? Because like I always say, time is money. 
And if you get some stock cabinets, you can definitely get your homework done on time. And I feel like if you do custom, the opportunities are endless and you get exactly what you want. So if you're gonna stay in a place forever, you might wanna consider having custom cabinets made. Now let's talk about kitchens because two of our flippers are really focusing on their kitchen. Yeah, well in Evan's case, he's doing two, right? Upstairs and downstairs. That's true, so we have three kitchens. Kitchens are the first thing that you see when you enter a house and they can add tremendous value. A formula that I like to follow is knowing that the kitchen's gonna cost at least 5% of your budget. I just don't think it should go over 15%. I might spend a little more in the kitchen, but good advice. I put y'all down, down, flip it, and reverse it. It's y'all flip it, but they're playing with it. Blow up headboard. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a incredible. Headboard. Pretty nice, right? I mean, right? yeah, you're luxurious. You're, you're, Living you're, the dream uh, here. So I would just love this. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. That's a wrap. Well, flip you out. <laughs> <laughs>